Today's episode is brought to you by Butcher Box. Butcher Box is going to get you them good meats. Also, today we're brought to you by Factor. If you're looking to eat healthy, Factor is a good way to do it. Now, let's jump into this podcast. Hello, everybody. It's time for Cox and Friend Dog. It's Friend Dog in the morning. In the morning. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Cax and Crandor in the morning. Woo! <laughs> whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Every once in a while, you got a woo. That was some forced excitement, is what that was. <laughs> Every once in a while, you got a forced excitement woo. Are you held at gunpoint right now? Is Toast there? Like, <laughs> you're going to woo. Damn it. <laughs> nah, it's, uh, you know, it's a, uh, it's a, uh, I'm kind of tired, but I'm also energized. I think I need coffee. I feel that. That is, <laughs> that is every single day for the last 12 years. <laughs> <laughs> that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't know. It's, uh, been, uh, uh, brain. Yeah, <laughs> there's that tired part coming in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So like I said, I need coffee. Listen, that is what I mean. All I got, I got woo, and then my brain just like emptied out. Like the tank just emptied. It was the last desperate cry of a brain <laughs> who's like, I just want to sleep, bro. <laughs> I didn't even Let sleep. Let me bad. rest. I slept fine. I just need like caffeine. Uh, Maybe it's well, all. I didn't go to the gym today. I bet that's what it is. Maybe, maybe your body's like, where's a, where's a fit power hour? Yeah, I need my fit power hour. That's really what it is. That's really what it is. <laughs> maybe you don't need caffeine. Maybe you need to go uh, bench 200 pounds. That's true. I also can't bench 200 pounds. It's too much. I, you know what? I was making a <laughs> guess. Made an educated guess. Figured yeah. you, you, you know. What, what are we at? 150. Uh, Honestly, I haven't. I actually like done bench pressing since I hurt my neck and now I'm scared to do it again. <laughs> All right, well. <laughs> so now I just right. do the, the chest press. I do a lot of lighter weights, but more reps. That's my thing. I do lighter weight, more rep. So plus, you know, you if know you what? go slow. That's fine. Yeah. If you go slow and you do the right uh what's it called? Posture, like the right the uh, whatever it is, right? Mm. Uh you get better uh, effectiveness because you're doing it properly some people just want to lift the heaviest thing and they don't even do it properly are you telling me when you go to the gym those people that do like the crazy workouts with, like swing wildly on the handlebars and like <laughs> you tell me those crossfit people are doing it wrong yes uh, <laughs> what in fact crazy. one of my friends who uh, does crossfit ended up needing back surgery because <laughs> uh, he he got a slip disc or whatever it is i'm obsessed with the fact that all the data shows science literal hypothesis theory results experiment all of it shows right. that if you're doing like crazy weight things and you're swinging wildly and like in the end it hurts you and yes. for some reason they've been convinced that <laughs> it's good for you and I have no idea how or why no one's like... It's like when in the 60s and 70s, they were like, cigarettes, they're amazing. Even though all the evidence showed that it definitely was killing you, people are like, well, you know, I've been told it's very good to ease your nerves. Like, what? <laughs> people it's, can get talked into anything. Well, uh, the thing is, I feel like people like it because, I mean, it's essentially you're just working out, right? And working out is good. The problem is when you're just you're going crazy with it because you don't have time to like make sure you got proper posture to make sure you're correct form. That's what I was thinking of. You got correct form and you're doing everything right and you're like going all over, like you're better off just taking it slow and just doing it properly. And it not seems going to wild. me like that's a uh, like there's something else behind that. You know what I mean? Like some sort of aggravation or you got something you got to get out the rage or yeah. like i don't know like, I maybe like a fast. frustration of some sort i'm all i'm saying is it seems like there's a lot of built-up sexual tension there and they're <laughs> trying to release it while like throwing themselves at a machine <laughs> and that's not what it's for y'all it's not what it's for yeah i mean if there's anybody out there doing crossfit comment and tell us why you enjoy it are you a person that needs that high intensity whatever 
And is your body, have you hurt yourself numerous times doing it? Like, I can't, I can't watch people, you know, there's pull-ups. And then there's whatever the hell a CrossFit pull-up is. Because those, <laughs> that's the craziest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Oh, yeah. It's wild looking. And I have to imagine you would get hurt doing that. There's some, sometimes I see that and the, the way of the body's moving, I'm like, no. Nah. That's not it's not meant to move like that, my friend. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's I don't know. honestly I'd probably die doing CrossFit. I would break something, throw something out, strain. Something would go yeah. out go go. I mean, wrong. I can't do CrossFit. There's just too much of me. But the thing that we're saying is, <laughs> while we mock you CrossFitters, just let us know what the hell is going on with you. Yeah. What's happening? What's going on with you? It's like me, you know, go to the gym. I got my AirPods in, as one does. Uh, you know, listen to my music, I go for like a little walk, then I do my, my weight stuff, whatever I'm working on that day, and then I do another walk, maybe I'll do like some yoga stretch, or whatever, and it's like, you know, 30 to 45 minutes, and then I'm like, alright, I'm good. And that's it. Hmm. It's nothing crazy, but I don't need yeah, anything that's, crazy. That's good, I mean, you're maintaining, right? You're, yeah. You are at a weight muscle mass that I think looks really good on you. That's a strange thing to say, <laughs> but <laughs> but yeah, you're like you're at the maintain stage. You don't need anything else unless you want to get like bulked out. Yeah, but and I don't really want to get bulked you're fine. out. I'm yeah. not, I'm happy being like a toned stick man. Like that's all I want. <laughs> <laughs> toned stick man. Toned stick man. That sounds like a Kojima character. <laughs> toned stick man. It does. <laughs> Uh, so, you know, did you do your uh, your exercise? I did, but I've been extra exercising this week. You ready for this nonsense? All right. Yeah. So remember last week I said, boy, sucks the elevator. My apartment complex oh, yeah, is broken because yeah. someone broke it. Yeah. Well, all week we were getting back and forth messages from the apartment complex. And they were like, well, the people should be out here on Tuesday to fix it. And I was like, all right, cool. They did not fix it Tuesday. They did not fix it Wednesday. They did not fix it Thursday. Mind you, in order to do anything, I now, again, to reach my car, I have to go down seven stories or up seven stories. And then to go outside or to like do anything, I'm doing five stories at a time. <laughs> so I am up and down stairs all week. My, by Friday, my knees hurt. I was like, oh <laughs> my God. So then, Friday night, we all get a, uh, this past Friday, we all get an email, and they're like, so, good news and bad news, turns out the doors, even though they can't be replaced because they are custom made, we did find the people who custom made them, and they're going to remake the doors and bring out, like, welders and stuff, and that should all be done this coming week. I was like, oh, thank God, okay. And they're like, everything should be wrapped up by Friday or Saturday. I'm like, no! <laughs> so I have to do another full week of this. I, um, I, went, uh, I went and saw my trainer, and he was like, bro, you're, you're doing really crappy on these squats and stuff. I'm like, my man, my knees hurt so I've – never, I've never felt like old man knee pain. Right. It's never been a problem. Like, I've never had that. I have it now. I'm telling you. I was like, bro, I can't today. He's like, what do you mean you can't? He's like, you're the guy who's always like, break me. I'm like, I'm already broken. I'm already, I got nothing in the tank, man. I'm already broken. So he's like, all right, let's just focus on upper body today. I was like, please and thank you. <laughs> it was bad, dude. And so I've just been walking up and down. The thing is, I will say, I can get to floor four before I, uh, before it would be like floor two. And I'd be like, <gasps> Oh shit! Now <laughs> right. it's like floor four, and I'm like, so it's like not bad. I'm improving, but I, it's not an improvement I want. I don't want to like ever do it again. I absolutely <laughs> hate it. It sucks so much ass. Oh, it's terrible. So, and everyone's like, it'll be good for you. It'll be good for him. Like, I'm sure it's good for me, but let me, for you know, I get upstairs after I work all day, and I go home. It's dark and it's nighttime, and no one's no one's awake, and I'm walking up these damn dark ass stairs. When I get up, I just like sit on my couch, just like I'm too damn fat. God damn I'm, just, I'm like just a mess. I'm like oh my god, I just, which is 
it's weird because it's translating into I don't know what's going on. I don't know if this is like a this happens every once in a while where I have like a oh I'm too damn fat. And I <laughs> like today for lunch, I went and got a sandwich and I ate like half the sandwich and was like, I'm fool. What the hell's going on? Like that sandwich was delicious, but I don't want any more. Right. And I'm like, is this how thin people think all the time? I was like, wow, this is messing with my brain. <laughs> I was like, whoa, hold on. <laughs> hold on now. Are you telling me I don't have to eat the whole thing? I was like, wait, whoa, whoa. That's so, true. I, that's uh, where I am. I always, I tend to only eat half the sandwich, but today I also got a sandwich, but I ate the whole thing. What kind of sandwich did you get? It was like grilled chicken with cheddar cheese, uh, avocado, Ooh. tomato, onion. Oh, oh. Yeah, it's pretty good. Love a grilled chicken sandwich. I got yeah. a, um, so there's this place uh, nearby, Mendocino Farms. It's like, yeah, I remember. It's like, all right, it's pretty good. I've been there. But they allow you to make your own sandwiches. And so I don't want to, they have like fancy. You know, fancy ass sandwiches. Yeah. And I today was like, well, I'm going to go to the office. I'm going to get some work done. So I just stopped by there, grab a sandwich. And I decided to have them make me a, again, I, every once in a while, I get on this, like, oh, I'm too fat. And so <laughs> it's like wheat bread with a, a wheat bread BLT um, with lettuce, the, the tomato, like whatever the heirloom tomato things they have, uh, the bacon they have, which is like, you know, that, like, douchey bacon, right? Yeah. Oh, and then, yeah. uh, like, sprouts and jalapeno and, like, a bunch of different, like, uh, cucumber, like, a bunch of different veggies and stuff on there. And then the thinnest layer of mayo, just, like, a little <laughs> tiny bit. And it was delicious, and I loved it, and I was having a good time. And, yeah, I took a bite of the second half of that sandwich and was like, I'm full. I got him. <laughs> Do I put this in the fridge? What do I do with this? Like, that's where I was. I was like, oh, man, what's the matter with me? I should have eaten the whole... I was like, I'm starving. And then I wasn't. And I'm like, is this thin people? Like, what? It's weird. Is it's this weird. thin people? Is this thin? I'm pointing at the butterfly. Yeah. I mean, that place does have good sandwiches. Yeah. That's just why I was like, I wish I could eat all of it. So now I got a half half with one bite sitting in the fridge and I'm like, I guess maybe later I'll have some of it. Yeah, I, mean, I don't yeah, know. Yeah. I guess I'm yeah, working out a lot lately and I guess it's like fact I don't know. I don't know if it's mental again, I don't know what it is. Could be but mental. with that said, when I like was in my big workout phase, oof. Uh, before I moved to LA, <laughs> which would have been 10 years ago, uh, <laughs> when I was like my big workout phase then, um, this is kind of how it was, is I would eat like, I'd try to eat meals and stuff, but I'd be like, I'm full. I don't want to eat this thing. And it was crazy. So I don't know. Maybe that's, maybe it's happening again. Maybe, maybe every 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> every, every 10, ten years. years, the curse <laughs> begins anew. <laughs> I have no clue. We'll see. Um, speaking of time oh oh yes so i wrote down something because i feel like it's something i hear all the time all right okay and it's we're in december now right yes we are and so i always hear people go like can you believe it's already december can you believe it's already christmas can you believe it's already insert thing and i feel like i've done it too and I was trying to piece it together, like, why why do we say that? Because, I mean, part of me can believe it is Christmas, right? Because, like, it's been a year. So I'm like, sure. yeah, I can believe it. But, like, I, get, I think it's just because you get busy doing stuff. And then you kind of, you're distracted. And before you know it, like, the months just go by. And then you're like, wow, it's Christmas. Like, that's the, uh, I guess that's why it happens. Well, I think both of us specifically can relate. And I think uh, most people who have very hectic jobs where you kind of do the same mono I, I don't want to say streaming is monotonous but you know if you're a streamer yeah. or you you're doing the same activity day in day out you're doing your stream you're doing your thing and then you're done and you're like if you're a teacher i imagine it's the same vibe having yeah. been one right if you're working at the mcdonald like we all get caught up boy this is about to get philosophical <laughs> we all get caught up in sort of the everyday monotony of existence in order to pay bills or to you know take care of whatever we need to take care of that when major things happen, we can't believe that suddenly we're there. 
right? Because there's yeah. hallmarks in every year, and if they if they weren't there, I wonder, or if there weren't months, right? If we just take out months, or we take out the concept of days, and it's just like there's night and then daytime, and you know, I wonder if we would think about it that much, or if we would just keep doing the slow roll down life as we work our ass off every single day, right? I don't know, man. It's it does seem like it's one of those things where we're all so busy with doing things that truly fundamentally don't matter, but we have to do them in order to live. Right. And so we get caught up in that, and then we just, all of a sudden it's Christmas, and you're like, wow, I can't believe we're here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, that does check out. I can see that being the reason. I mean, it, it seems like people do it all the time. Like, oh, can you, I think especially during the holidays is when people have like, oh, like, can you believe it's Halloween? Or like, can you believe it's Thanksgiving? you believe it's Christmas? Because then... I don't hear people be like, oh, can you believe it's March? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't happen as much. And I guess because the holidays are such a, like, monumental part of the year, I guess. Well, yeah, there's so much attachment and memory associated with them uh, from your childhood. And honestly, I, I know it's kind of a meme with people who watch my stupid content, but I keep talking <laughs> about the fact that the older you get... Things seem to move faster, but really, in reality, it's because you're so busy with things and you're doing more things in a day and the things you're doing are more monotonous. But also, as you age, uh, your eyes see at a slower frame rate, and so everything seems faster, which is absolutely true, which is weird. Oh. So, yeah, so when you're younger, you pick up more information because you see things at a faster rate, frame rate. That's and crazy. And so... Yeah, there's like a weird, I'm not sure what, I don't, I don't know like when this all changes, but there's this weird thing where when you're young, and I think everyone can agree, when you're young, based on all these different factors, life seems so slow. Like from, I'll say from 10 to 18, seemed forever. It seemed like so long, and now a year flies by. Yeah. And... I'm sure that has to do with, again, you have your job and you have bills to pay and you have stuff to do and you're spending at least eight hours every day working on stuff. And school, while it is educational, is mostly also socializing and preparing you to talk to other people and make your way in the workforce and, uh, you know, socialize and find a place in society and be a part of civilization, that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Most jobs are kind of... <laughs> Just like, do your work, go home, make dinner, go to bed. <laughs> yeah, and you're that's like your a day. Robot. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's I can see that, and it just kind of, I mean, it's kind of like a just an adult school in a way, because it's like go to school, do your whatever, do your homework, do it again, and it's like your homework becomes like finances and taxes, <laughs> and like you know managing other parts of your life and then you're going to school just becomes going to your job and being like all right you got to do this thing do that you know talk to these people like it does become just like a monotonous you know punch in punch out at least for some jobs there's probably there's plenty of crazy jobs as well uh where sure it's and i like think that's that, why but... people take those crazy jobs because they simply cannot bring themselves to do the monotony yeah. of what most work actually is like even fun jobs like what we do it's still you have a schedule and you do the thing and you're there and you clock in and you clock out and you 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 know it might be we might play something different but the objective is we have to create something that is familiar and welcoming so we can't get crazy all the time you know what i mean yeah uh it's you know it's about mixing it up I think is one of the biggest things. Like, for example, I do my sub goals. That keeps it live. You know, we've been reading Garfield sure. comics <laughs> for sub goals. <laughs> See, you're good at this. You're very good at this. I well, am like, I'll show up whenever I show up. So, like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Well, I mean, I think you still consider yourself more of a YouTube person. I don't know what I can. I consider myself to be the luckiest man <laughs> in the world. <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> uh, but <laughs> you had like five calendars at one point, all right? I have I have no calendars now. I have given up. I've literally given up. 
I am over everything. I did. There was a time period where I was like, I'm going to change my life and be better and do all this stuff. And now I'm like, well, <sighs> chaos is where I thrive. <laughs> so here we are. Yeah. Um, man, yeah, no, I, I think, uh, I think no matter what you do, it's all about just trying to create your own fun in that thing. Right. Whether you work in an office or work at a construction site or in a hospital, like wherever it's, you know, you can't, you gotta like make your own fun doing the things. I mean, there's streamers and YouTubers too, where you're like, oh man, I wish I could do that. And they're just like, Hey guys, I didn't want to stream today, but I gotta, because so here we go. Right. And you can, even if they're not saying that specifically, you can tell like, wow, this person does not want to be here. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So, and, and I think it comes down to, again, that sort of, we are fortunate that we have a success that allows us to do the things we want without punishment. I mm -hmm. think for the vast, vast majority of streamers, but I would say people in the workforce, they have to do what they're told to do or what they believe is the right path, which for a lot of people can lead to burnout very quickly and it's monotonous and it's, it sucks. Mm -hmm. And so I think that, you know, we come from a privileged place of being like, we've been here long enough that we earned our dues and we're, we're, we're good. Oh yeah. 100%. But we also got in early when this was the wild west. Yes. This is like when you roll into a wild west town and the mayor is like <laughs> the dude with the pocket watch and the hat. And he's like, <laughs> well, we're the mayors. We've been here already. Yeah. We staked our claim. We own the town. And yeah. you're rolling up trying to become like the gunslinger. And we're like, well, good luck. <laughs> it sucks, but that's truly what it is. Yeah. You're just, you've been there so long. You're just, you've like fossilized yourself <laughs> yeah. in the, uh, whatever you're doing. It's just like, ah, that's them. Yeah, they've been but, here. But that's, that's absolutely true. When I talk to people, if your name comes up or if people are talking about me and my name comes up, everyone knows who we are. Mm -hmm. It might not be like the young 21 year olds They have their own clique and they're starting yeah. out fresh and stuff But like for the most part When we're in our circles Everyone knows who we are Like oh Crendor yeah we know Crendor right? It's like oh Jesse yeah I know Jesse That yeah. kind of thing is because we've just been here long enough It's not because we're superstars no. It's just we've been around so long That people know who we are and what we do And that we have that privilege Yeah no, it's like I said, I was always the Kyle Corver of YouTube. <laughs> You're there to help, yeah. <laughs> Kyle Corver, let me, let me just break it down for you. Started playing in the NBA in 2003, and uh -huh. he retired in 2020. Dude played like 20 years in the NBA, and he would just consistently come in and like make threes. That's all he did. He didn't do like anything else, but like in his prime, he could like do a little more. You know, he'd play some defense to be out there. But then by the end, it's like put him in. He did a three. Like, yep, that's what he does. And then you know, even the the Zoomers are like, oh yeah, Kyle Corver. I've seen him. He's been around a, lo a long time, right? Like yeah. that's that's what I was. Consistent nine point three rebound, <laughs> one assist per game player. Yeah, you're not out there <laughs> making millions, but you're in the game, and that's what matters. Yeah, that's what yeah. it's all about. <laughs> It, re it really is, and I think it comes with a place of appreciation. Like, at a certain point, you're like, I can't believe I'm here outlasting all those people we started with. Yeah, there's a all lot. All those names that we started with, I would, 90% uh, of them, uh, I, this is no joke, I have in front of me a card. Uh, I, went, I might have told you this. I went out with um, a, a good friend who used to work at Maker, mm -hmm. and he was like, hey, found all of these cards that are from uh, when Maker Studios used to hand out collectible cards at PAX. Oh, I remember that. Dude, <laughs> I have every single one now. So I found my collection because I had like three or four that was us. Yeah. And then I found his. I dropped some right there. <laughs> and then I found his. And um, I'm telling you, on here... There's like all the Minecraft YouTubers that no longer exist that probably made a million dollars and then oh, were like, yeah, I don't probably. need to do this anymore. <laughs> There's people like, uh, you know, oh my God, I don't want to name names. I feel right. bad. Yeah, but I like, uh, you know, certain YouTubers that 
decided to change their entire persona from mm-hmm. gaming to like travel vlog, and then they vanished. Yeah, there's people on here that are like groups of of players that yep. I've never heard of before. <laughs> there's uh, you know, like just I'm trying to find you're on here, which is amazing. Yeah, the best I part remember. is it's you. It's a poorly drawn you with your dragon plushie. Yeah, I remember. It's so good. <laughs> Me, for some reason, I have a uh, giant puppet Jesse in the photo with me. I have no idea why. <laughs> it's so good. Like, there's all these different people on here. Half of them are gone, and mm-hmm. half of them are people like um, Peanut Butter Gamer, right? Like, people right. that are like us, that are here forever, and yeah. probably will, they'll, they'll have to kick us off to make us <laughs> Yeah. And that's super <laughs> interesting to me, because when we were, were coming up, there were all these big names. There were people that were like, damn, I wish I could be like them. They've got 500,000 subscribers. Oh, that's crazy. And then they're gone. Yeah. And somehow we're still doing this. I have no idea why. We're just, it feels like one of those like, I got no place to go. <laughs> yeah. We, we have to. Yeah. <laughs> Man, it is. I think part of it is people just. You know, they get bored. Like, they don't want to play games anymore. They want to try something new. But then a lot of people are like, I don't care about them for doing that thing. I like when they play games. Or, like, even some people, there's probably people who are like, oh, I like when you just talk. I don't like when you play games. I know that's a big, like, just chatting thing. Like, there's plenty of people who do just chatting, and then they're like, all right, we're going to play a game now. And then it's like, I don't care anymore. That is, I don't want to, like, show any behind the scenes <laughs> stuff of what we do. Right. But I'm going to. Uh, one of the things I've learned is that if you start your stream with just chatting and you just talk for like an hour with your with your audience, yeah. they're more inclined to stick around and watch you play the game rather than you just start playing the game. That's true. And I think it I think it's because most people when they watch a streamer, they're really watching for the streamer. The game can be anything. Yeah. Right? Unless you're one of those people that like, oh, I watch only Among Us streams or Fortnite streams or you like you have a specific thing you watch. Mm-hmm. But most people when they follow a streamer, they do it because they like the person. And I think that's I think that's first beautiful, but also super interesting and probably in useful information for everyone out there trying to stream. Yeah. No, I've always said that. It's the that's part of the 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 basis of non content, if you will, is that people want to watch their favorite entertainers just do anything. Like, literally yeah. anything. People try to be like, what if we put them on a show, right? Like, all these companies would be like, what if we put, like, Dodger and Sam and, like, Peanut Butter Gamer on a show, and they play this game with, like, playing cards, and I'm like, dude, nobody cares. Like, you could just have them eat cereal. You know what I mean? Like, the just film them eating cereal at a table. People watch it. 100%. Just general, genuine interaction is what yeah. people care about. Yeah. yeah. That's like that's, that's all we, they want. That's what I care about. I wouldn't watch them play some board game that they were like if yeah. they were just hardcore selling out, I'd be like, this is stupid. But if they were sitting around eating cereal, I'd be like, this is content. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That's what it's and so, you know, I always thought that was that was kind of the basis of my non content stuff was capturing people in weird moments with weird settings. Right? Oh, I'm aware. I'm aware when we were in an elevator and you threw yep. a water ball at me. I know. Yep. That video still got more views than any Maker Studio stuff. I'm telling you. Uh, but, you know, I think something like that is also just chat. Like, I swear, sometimes Sam will stream and I'm like, all right, what's Sam doing? He's just chatting. And he's just like, oh, it's me. And then he's like, all right, let's play a fighting game. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. And I just click off. Like, <laughs> like as soon as he swaps to like a game, I either care about the game and I'll watch, or I don't care about the game and I'm like, well, I'm not playing or I'm not watching. I'm not watching him play oh, this. Oh yeah, and you can see it number wise. You can yeah. see when you start a thing and you're just talking, and then when you start playing a game, you'll see a drop. Yeah. Um. But the thing is, the hopeful idea is you have enough people that will stick around based on the start to right. justify, and that's like the vibe you have to. Again, it's all about these weird min max and algorithm playing and like figuring out how people work. There is a secret to this job that I think a lot of people don't quite follow or understand when they start. And I don't think either of us did. We Mm -hmm. just did it because it was like fun to do. But after a while you realize, you know, the map patenting of the internet where everything's an algorithm. Well, I mean, even back in the day, I thought it was fun trying to play the algorithm because like as somebody who only made... I didn't even know what do you mean back in the day when did you whoa 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 I yeah. didn't even know there was an algorithm until like 2017 
No, well, like, back then, I'd make my WoW video, and I'd be like, I'm gonna call this the Unreleased Cataclysm trailer, because people would be like, Unreleased? <laughs> I've never seen this. And they'll click on it. And so, when you searched WoW Cataclysm, my video was, like, top three when you searched I WoW Cataclysm. You. I hate you. <laughs> so You're I was, absolutely right. That's so genius. I was like, back yeah. then, yeah. that's how I was playing the alley. I was like, dude, there's, like, I no didn't competition. Do that at all. I, run the, no. I run the whole market. So that's why, I didn't you know, do that. But, I was like... <laughs> Zone aerial fly footage. Jesse Cox. <laughs> oh, MFG Cataclysm. Yeah. That's like what my my I sucked. I'm, <laughs> I've never I don't think I've ever been good at this. I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm terrible at this. Yeah, I don't I don't know what you're doing. Uh but but that was my thing. Like I enjoyed doing that and seeing like where I ranked and all this stuff. But nowadays, like I don't care because there's so much saturation. That it's like, you know, it's just a yeah. blend of people with their faces being like, Bleh! and that's all it is. Just people with their faces being like, you won't believe what this thing did or this what. Wow, this wow expansion does this. <laughs> it's like their face will say, being like, Bleh! most of those like Ooh, faces are those are videos done by people that already have a huge audience and they're letting them know that that's them in the face. You know what I mean? The face lets them know it's them. Well, yeah, so that's like, true. I get it, but I will say that. What you talked about has not changed. A great example is that dude's video that was WoW's Darkest Secret. Oh, yeah. That is the perfect example of crendoring your way to getting views. <laughs> like, is. that dude named this thing like, it's the darkest <laughs> secret of WoW. And then spent all this time and energy making this video that is literally the biggest goof there ever was. <laughs> yeah. And I, I, love, I love that video. It's so well made and so good. And I cannot believe... That it, I, I I got got and I'm so happy I did. I love stuff like that. Yeah, I got got too from that. That was crazy. I love more of that, please, Internet. That's yeah. the, those are the videos I that reminded me of like 2010 YouTube when weird videos we posted that are like the government is watching and you're like what the <laughs> what is this? Yeah, yeah, that's no, the old it. wild west of the internet. That's where it's at. Now it's just everything is. Like I said, so oversaturated. Like you go on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, there's like shorts popping up. There's like shorts with the clickbaity, like this person does what? And like this person does this thing and you won't believe. And it's like, it's literally I'm literally everywhere. just going to YouTube right now. Incognito. This is what's on the front page. Mm -hmm. An ad for the Mario movie trailer. We thought this was impossible. And it says how? That's the thumbnail says how? And it's. The exact same image, except one is a little bit lighter than the other. <laughs> and then another one is Sniper Wolf doing the exact same react face, but it's reacting to TikToks. <laughs> right. Uh, Uncle Roger, who is everywhere right now. Um, Mr. Beast. And Mr. Beast has like five videos on here. And then a bunch of trailers. And then uh, for some reason... The Fireplace 10-hour Ultra 4K HD burning log, which honestly is probably the best thing on there. And lo-fi hip-hop radio beats, girl. <laughs> but everything else is the... Ex like, again, I'm looking at this. More Sniper Wolf. More uh, uh, Mr. Beast. I keep forgetting his damn name. And that's... I mean, I guess they haven't figured out, and I'll ne I never will, but my God. <laughs> like, it I sucks. think uh, part of the problem is, like, back in the day, I would do this stuff, right? And you're like, oh, yeah, I figured it out, whatever. But now people have figured it out so well that everybody does that. And it's oversaturated with that. So now to stand out, it's almost like you have to do the opposite. But you can't just do the opposite because it doesn't... It's The opposite would be something that completely doesn't work and people don't like. So you have to do that, but in a slightly different way. And I think that's one of the hardest things. Yeah, and there's a lot, like, I think the reason why... I'm seeing so many Mr. Beast is that he has so many channels. So it isn't just Mr. Beast. It's I'm looking at Mr. Beast reacts yeah. and Mr. Beast. And then like, oh, like the man has so many ways to put himself on the front page. It's very, very smart, but it's also just like, what do you even, you know, how would you, how would you even get, looking at this? How do you even get on the front page? Everything on here is either a mainstream media thing or, or one of the top like 50 YouTubers. There is, I don't know how you would get on here. That's how you get on there. You figured it out just now. <laughs> just be the best? Yeah, Great. Yeah, there you all go. right, I'll get on that. Yeah. I'll get on that. 
<laughs> all right. Thanks for helping me out, pal. Hey, no problem. I mean, it's true. That's all you got. That's all you got to do. It's like when Ninja was like, "All you got to do is get the Fortnite to put your name in the game." So 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 simple. <laughs> so there you go, uh, and that's why Christmas feels like it's right around the corner because it is. <laughs> exactly. Well. You know what? With the holidays right around the corner, it is a great time to get yourself some no-nonsense food in your life because, my goodness, you're going to be thinking about cooking and all the like holiday celebration stuff and family. Right now, you need something that's no fuss, no muss, and that's why I'm about to tell you about Factor because it is the ready-to-eat meal delivered to you They shop, they prep, they cook, they deliver it to your door, so you don't even have to think. You just pop it in the microwave two minutes, and you're good to go. Gourmet Plus, Keto, Calorie Smart, Vegan and Veggie, 36 or more weekly add-ons, all sorts of nutritious stuff for you, right? It's the holiday season. You got too much stuff to think about. You know, oh, I can't believe we're already here. Well, now you don't have to worry about anything else but that. Your meals are taken care of. Factor is cheaper than dining out. Plus, it, you can put your money into all the holiday fun you want to have. And thanks to Factor's commitment to ingredients with integrity, you can enjoy flavorful, chef-crafted meals guilt-free. When things get hectic for the holidays, Factor is flexible as well. Change your order every week from 4 to 18 meals per week, or pause or reschedule at any time. No big deal. Not only does Factor offer fast, simple solutions when it's too busy to do all the crazy things you got to do, I have to say they're delicious. Big fan. Some of the the ones that are keto, I'm not a big like keto person. I love my bread, but some of the ones they do for keto are great. Try it yourself. Head to go.factor75.com/cox60 and use code cox60 to get 60% off your first box. That's code cox60 at gogo.factor7575.com seventy five seven five dot com slash cox sixty to get sixty percent off your first box. Also, if you're looking for those big meals, can I recommend getting your meat and delicious, delicious accessories from ButcherBox? ButcherBox takes the guesswork out of finding high quality meat and seafood you can trust. One hundred percent grass fed beef, free range organic chicken pork raised crate free wild caught seafood if you're like me and you kind of like shun traditional meals right you know everyone's like turkey or you gotta make this thing or a ham or butcher box what if you just want to make some steak or like a nice bass or so i don't know make something good and delicious and you don't have to follow tradition butcher box can help you just have a great holiday with family get what you want delivered directly to your doorstep Free shipping in the continental U.S., no surprise fees. Choose from a variety of plans, curated to custom. You can change your plan whenever you want. You can enjoy a range of high-quality cuts that are hard to come by at the grocery store, and it comes with a great value. You can get recipe inspiration, guides, tips, tricks, hacks, whatever. Make them personalized if you want, so you can cook up some mouth-watering meals. I've used ButcherBox. Crendor's used ButcherBox. Uh, Delicious. I'm out. (laughs) Hey, ButcherBox, I got no more meats if you wink, wink. All I'm saying is, give it a shot. It's got convenience. It's got a low cost. The quality is great. The taste is amazing. Plus, it's delivered right to you. You don't even have to, like, stress. This holiday season, make it better and tastier with ButcherBox. For a limited time, they're offering you, right now, ground beef for life. That's right. Get 10% off your order, and every time you order, you'll get just ground beef included. Sign up today at butcherbox.com slash cox and use code cox to get 10% off your first box and ground beef for life with your membership. That's butcherbox.com slash cox and use code cox to claim that deal. All right, Crandall, let's go to traffic. This guy's going to have traffic out there. Oh boy, traffic is holiday traffic y. It's a lot of cars, a lot of stuff going on. Uh, I was actually going to the last episode to find somewhere for the weather, and someone said, uh, this is the first Black Friday episode I've heard where they don't talk or mention the day at all. But I did mention it. I said I went to Target on Black Friday, so that is incorrect. Uh, Back to you. Thanks, Grendor. Actually, Black Friday kind of sucked this year. It has for the last few years. That's what I'm saying. Like, 
even though I like the the whole point is that it used to be the one day right it was this is the day that's crazy all these deals happen on this day and then they realized wow we could extend this and make even more money so then black friday became like the whole weekend and then it became like a week and then it became like two weeks now they're like black friday's all month long <laughs> it's like okay and now they've changed it to the point where a lot of businesses because it's the day after thanksgiving they now give people thanksgiving and the day after thanksgiving off and black friday is monday tuesday wednesday and then the weekend yeah plus a and lot so of it doesn't online. really exist in some places yeah a lot of it's just online now too so it's like everybody goes online and looks and then there's like Cyber Monday, but like Cyber Monday is already people are shopping online anyway. So it's just an extended Black Friday. It's just, it's, it's not the same, you know, and you know, it's probably a good thing that it's not the same, right? <laughs> but right. for us <laughs> in terms of content, it's a terrible thing. Yeah. Terrible for content. We yeah. need that good goofs. Like if people aren't, you know, it's terrible. Yeah. It's terrible when people are fighting over a $50 TV, but in terms of content, that is prime content. <laughs> it is. <laughs> and we don't have it anymore, so no why talk about it? Yeah. Yeah. So, there you go. That's the traffic. All right. Let's go to weather. Ooh, weather. We got a weather request for Jan Mayen. It is a... What? It sounds like a name. Uh, is a small island in the middle of the Arctic Ocean that's controlled by Norway. It's half a military base, half a weather station. There is also no permanent population. Jan Man? Is that how it's... Jan M-A-Y-E-N. Jan M-A-Y-E-N. Jan Mayen? Jan Mayen? Jan Mayen? Oof, we are awful at this. Wow, that is a small island. Yeah, no, this is this is uh, a small. Although I guess it like it is kind of big. Yeah. It's just way north. I don't know why anyone would ever live there. It's like way, it's Arctic Circle North. I guess that's why it's a military base. <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, it's thirty-two degrees there Fahrenheit. Uh, tonight it'll be twenty-nine. Windy with afternoon snow showers. It feels like seventeen with that wind. Coming in at 30 miles an hour. Woo! Humidity 68%. Pressure 30.44 inches. Visibility 10 miles. UV index 0 of 10 with a waxing gibbous moon phase. 22 on the dew point. Uh, looking at the old 10 day here. We've got doo -doo 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 -doo. Monday 31 with a lot of wind. Tuesday 25 with snow. Wednesday 25 with snow. Thursday 34 with snow. Friday 34 with snow, and then just a couple partly cloudy days in the 30s, and then more 30s with snow. So it's uh, pretty much what you would expect. This is, this is, I love researching things like this. In the winter, roughly 18 people will spend time on the island. In the summer, <laughs> about 35 people. They'll switch out personnel, they'll do all that stuff. Like you said, it's a base, but my favorite part is. It only has one exploitable natural resource, gravel. <laughs> what? <laughs> if your natural resource is gravel, that's a shitty place. That place sucks. <laughs> that is. Can you imagine? You're like, yeah, we have. We're really well known for this cool resource. Like, oh yeah, what is it? Gravel. Gravel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, if you. Uh... Uh, there's a picture oh, of this guy sitting on an iceberg. That's kind of neat. Yeah, I'm looking. There's a uh, old map on Wikipedia. Nord Nordzi or whatever it's called. <laughs> and it looks like it's from the it says 1590s to 1720s, I guess. I, I don't see it's the golden age of Netherlandish cartography, but <laughs> looking at the way they drew this map, the whole damn thing's mountains. Yeah. It's like all mountains, the island, and then it's just way north, and then one of those mountains is a volcano. So like, <laughs> although, why? maybe they do this and we just don't see it, but why can't they harvest the geothermic power of the volcano? I don't know. I'm also not... Like, if I was going to have a villain base, this would be the spot. <laughs> that's true. Maybe there is a villain base there, and that's why they don't say anything. You never know. 
Yeah, I don't know. Maybe. Maybe this. See. Yeah, they're like, oh, it's a military base. Wink. There you go. And there's a guy petting a cat in there. Yeah. Look at that. I linked it. Look at that signpost. Yo. This is... <laughs> <laughs> this is a billion signs. Billion directions. Yeah, it's probably because they got uh, nothing to do there. For people who are curious, you know, like how you see those signposts and it'll say like, I don't know, maybe you're in New York and it will say Paris and then it will say X number of miles away. And it's just there kind of as a, I don't know, like a fun thing to do. Imagine that, except it's every place in the world, I think, and all of these arrows pointing. And I don't, most of them probably don't have actual distance. It's just probably, well, <laughs> we're stuck on this damn island. And again, if you're curious in this photo, most of it's gravel. I'm looking at it. This photo, all <laughs> gravel. Oh, yeah, it is. <laughs> That's a lot of gravel. Yeah. Uh, oh, my God. If you scroll down a little bit, you know that signpost? There, there's another one next yeah. to it that I guess is the continuation. Oh, yeah, I see it. Look at that. It's just it's Actually, I think it's just a tree trunk. <laughs> What's even crazier is if you keep going down, there's like one photo of ice that looks like it has a, I don't even know, some old god in it. Yeah, what the shit? <laughs> what is going on this on this is island? Wild. Yeah, this place is crazy. <laughs> Although I guess you know nature, man. Nature's crazy. Some places are, are look like look amazing. Yeah, I never want to go there, but it looks amazing. Yep. <laughs> yep. So that's uh, that's the weather. All right, let's go to sports. Sports. We had football today over in sports. Football or football. Uh, well, I guess both. <laughs> uh, in football, we had Bills beating the Patriots on Thursday. We had the Packers beating the Bears. That was fun. Steelers beating the Falcons. Uh, Vikings beating the Jets. Lions beat the Jaguars. Eagles beat the Titans. Browns beat the Texans. Commanders beat the... Or no, Commanders Giants tied. What a game. Ooh. Uh, Ravens beat the Broncos. 49ers beating the Dolphins. Seahawks beat the Rams. Raiders beat the Chargers, Bengals beat the Chiefs, and Cowboys Colts are playing tonight. Uh, over in football, uh, World Cup action, USA finally lost to the Netherlands. <laughs> Don't say that. Don't say it like that. <laughs> USA somehow made it through and then finally got booted. I mean, <laughs> kind of. Uh, <laughs> I don't know how they made it this far, but neat. Uh, looks like it's going to be Netherlands against Argentina. England against France, because why not? It has been for thousands of years. Uh, and then we still have Morocco, Spain, Portugal, Switzerland to play. And then we still have Japan, Croatia, and Brazil, South Korea to play. Uh, see who plays there. So that should be fun. Uh, then we have basketball over in the NBA. Uh, we have... Celtics in first, Bucks, Cavaliers, Hawks, Pacers, Nets, and 76ers, and Raptors in the top eight in the East. And you got Suns, Pelicans, Nuggets, Grizzlies, Kings, Warriors, Clippers, Jazz in the West. And then in the NHL, we currently have the Bruins in first with the Maple Leafs in second. You got the Devils in first with the Hurricanes in second. The Stars in first with the Jets in second. And... The Golden Knights in first with the Kraken in second. And that is sports. I'm not going to lie. Kraken, Golden Knights, two newish teams. Big yeah. fan. Big fan. I agree. I love their logos. Uh, it seems yeah, the like logos are great. Of... The vibe is great. Yeah. I think because they don't have a history, they can just go all out and do some crazy shit. Yeah, I'm here I think for so. it. <laughs> Absolutely here for it. They got to. They got to make their yeah. own history. Uh, and that's sports. All right. What's our fact of the day? Plato started out as wallpaper cleaner before the head of the struggling company realized the non-toxic material made a good modeling clay for children and rebranded it. Wallpaper cleaner? What the? Yep. Wallpaper what cleaner. Does that mean you can use Play-Doh now to clean your wallpaper? <laughs> I was just thinking that. Like, wait a minute. Is it still? I, I mean, I guess they probably would have changed stuff. It's like when they used to say that, um, and I don't know how true this is. That mouthwash, Listerine, used to be floor cleaner. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's crazy. I don't know. Yeah, I have no idea if you could just start using Listerine to clean your floor. <laughs> I imagine not. I imagine that would be unwise. Yeah. But also, wallpaper cleaner is a very bizarre thing to... to 
make. You know what I mean? Yeah. I would be super interesting to learn more about what products were created for one thing and then failed and then they repurposed their stock for something else. Yeah. I'm sure there's several. I'm sure there are many. Like, um, you know, McRibs probably were yoga mats at one point. And then they were like, we have all these yoga mats. What do we do with them? <laughs> and they're like, we dip them in sauce and sell them. And they're like, genius. Or it's like how uh, Fortnite was a power defense. And they're like, what if we made it a battle <laughs> royale? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yep. Wow, look at that. It works. Uh, that's your fact of the day. All right. What is our big news story of the day? Oh, boy. We got a good one. We got a good one. I'm ready. I'm ready. We may have covered it in the past, but I don't remember and I don't care. Thousands. Uh, uh. <laughs> thousands of monkeys celebrate feast day in central Thailand and it's bananas. Go on. <laughs> La Bri, Thailand. A meal fit for monkeys was served on Sunday at the annual Monkey Feast Festival in central Thailand. Oh, uh, I'm, I'm looking it up now. Monkey Feast <laughs> Festival? Come on, man. Monkey Feast Festival. Come on, can I show? Can I send you this monkey? Here we go. <laughs> uh, all right. So, you know when you're, like, at the mall and there's those weird stores that sell, like, curios and knickknacks and out front yeah. there's always some sort of ugly butler? Like yeah. a statue of a butler? Yeah. Uh, it's just a bunch of ugly monkey butlers with uh, with food on plates and then actual monkeys eating the food off the monkey butler <laughs> plates, and it's very bizarre. It really <laughs> and is. I love it. Very bizarre. <laughs> uh, throngs of m m macaque monkeys. They say it. <laughs> macaque. it is now. Macaque monkeys ran around at times fighting with each other while the crowds of visitors and locals grew. As the carefully prepared feast was brought towards the temple, the ravenous creatures began to pounce and were soon devouring the largely vegetarian spread. Uh, oh, it says, Amid the morning traffic, rows of monkey statues holding trays were lined up outside the compound of the ancient three pagodas while volunteers prepared food across the road for real monkeys, the symbol of Lob Lobbury Province, uh, 93 miles north of Bangkok. Uh, while the entertainment value of the festival is high, organizers are quick to point out that it is not just monkey business. Quote, This Monkey Feast Festival is a successful event that helps promote Lotbury's tourism among international tourists every year. Uh, previously, there were around 300 monkeys in Lotbury before increasing nearly 4,000 nowadays, but Lotbury is known as a monkey city, which means monkeys and people can live in harmony. Such harmony could be seen in the lack of shyness exhibited by the monkeys, which climbed <laughs> on v visitors, vehicles, and lampposts. At times, the curious animals looked beyond the abundant feast and took an interest in other items. Quote, There was a monkey on my back as I was trying to take a selfie. <laughs> he grabbed the sunglasses right up my face and ran on top of the lamppost and was trying to eat him for a while, <laughs> said <laughs> uh, Aisha Bott, an English teacher from California working in Thailand. Oh my god. The delighted onlookers were largely undeterred by the risk of petty theft, although some were content to exercise caution. We have to take care of them. Better leave it leave them to it. Not too near is better, said Carlos Rodway, a tourist from Candiz, Cadiz, Spain having previously been unceremoniously treated as a climbing frame by a monkey. The festival's annual tra tradition in Lotbury, the provin provincial capital, and held as a way to show gratitude to the monkeys for bringing in tourism. This year's theme is Monkeys Feeding Monkeys. <laughs> An um, <antidote>. yeah, <laughs> that explains it, yeah. <laughs> An antidote to previous years where monkey participation has decreased due to high numbers of tourists, which intimidated the animals. I need to say... The research I did on this is fascinating. Like, they're talking about how they will build giant towering pyramids of watermelons, durian, pineapple, all things I would show up to eat that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'd fight those monkeys to eat that. But then, this is the best part, is their origins, I guess, are at least 2,000 years old. And it is, according to the tale, I guess, there's the epic tale of Rama, 
a divine prince and his struggle to rescue his wife Sita from the clutches of a demon lord. According to the tale, the monkey king Hanuman and his army helped rescue Sita. Here's the thing. If you are uh, a Black Panther movie fan, you recognize Mbatu, the best character, every time he goes, glory to Hanuman. That's this dude. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. Oh, it yeah. all clicked for me. I was like, that's awesome. And really, this is like a mega monkey Monday when you think about this, it. It really, you know what? <laughs> it really is. When the world, I, I've often said this, the universe is about balance. And uh, when the world takes away your Florida Monkey Monday, Thailand <laughs> gives you the greatest monkey celebration ever. That it honestly makes up for a lot of the missed Monkey Mondays. It really does. And it really the, does. The people don't even complain when the monkeys take their stuff or attack. No, them. they sat there and they're like, look at him try to eat my glasses. <laughs> yeah. You know what? Yeah. I like Monkey Feast Day. <laughs> Big fan. Big, Big fan, fan of this. We need more Monkey Mondays are back, baby. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Monkey Mondays are back. <laughs> All right. Well, that is it for this episode. Thank you so much for listening or watching. I'll be doing this podcast. Grendor, hit him with the socials. We have socials. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor podcast. All one word. That's where you can find the podcast on YouTube. Subscribe, like, comment, all that stuff. Leave us a weather recommendation. Leave us stories. Leave us whatever. Uh, also, uh, you can find the animations on YouTube.com slash Cox and Crendor. Cutting off the podcast part. Uh, we're also on Spotify, iTunes, SoundCloud. And you can find our main stuff at YouTube.com slash Jesse Cox, YouTube.com slash Crendor, Twitch TV Jesse Cox, Switch TV Crendor, Twitter Jesse Cox, Twitter Crendor, TikTok Jesse Cox, TikTok, TikTok Crendor, Instagram Notorious Cox, Instagram Crendor is taken, uh, Facebook Crendor, Facebook Jesse Cox, uh, Patreon Jesse Cox, Patreon Crendor, uh, Warhammer Crendor. Uh, <laughs> we do too much, bro. Yeah. What is going on? Cox clips, Cren clips. Uh, <laughs> I think that's it. <laughs> All right, that's it. We'll see y'all next week. And as always, yeah. to be continued.